Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here, and number one question I get in all of my videos and my streams is what mods do you use? So today I wanted to go over the top 15 essential mods for Horizon that I simply just cannot live without. There are many, many more mods that I use and that I have recommended in my full mod spreadsheet, but these 15 are the ones I would recommend the most. And of course, I'll have every mod listed in the description down below so you can go and download them yourself. In this first section, I want to go over gameplay enhancements, so this is really the core of this video, and if you get nothing else, these are the mods I would recommend you get. First off, we have Keep Commonwealth Radiant Quests Within the Commonwealth by Real Assassin. So if you're like me, you've probably discovered that the best way to earn experience in Horizon is by finding your factions and doing their repeatable Radiant Quests. The problem is, the first time you go and talk to Scribe Halen, she's gonna send you to Far Harbor or Nuka World or somewhere else that you can't get to whenever you're level 10 or whatever you are whenever you actually first meet them. This mod fixes that by forcing all Commonwealth Radiant Quests to stay within the Commonwealth. Next up we have Death UI by Nianka, Valdeseal, Old Nick, Parasite X, and Secums. Again, I hope I'm pronouncing all of your names correctly. Death UI is a major enhancement to the vanilla UI that makes it much more friendly towards PC, especially whenever you are looting things or transferring things in your workshop. Def UI is entirely compatible with Horizon, however, you'll want to install Def UI first and then install Horizon afterwards, overriding your Def UI install. Next up, we have Auto Loop by Fire Undub. This simply allows you to automatically loot containers that are on the ground or anywhere else within the vicinity that you set. This will be a controversial one. Some people will say this is cheating, and technically, yes, it is. It's a cheat. I mean, it simply loots things for you. However, if you've ever seen me play Horizon or if you ever played it yourself, you'll know that looting in Horizon is tedious. You have to pick up literally everything. So rather than walking into a room and spamming E for several minutes, this mod simply loots those things for me. Initially, I got this mod to enhance my viewer's experience whenever I'm streaming because, let's face it, nobody wants to watch somebody loot stuff for 20 or 30 minutes straight. However, after using it for some time, I have to admit that even if I was not streaming, I would still probably use this. Now, you can set it to actually automatically open locks for you. However, in terms of balance, I would say that is not the way to go. Also be aware that auto loot has been reported to crash some people. However, I've found that by turning body looting off and setting most of your stuff to go to settlements, I don't have very many problems with it. And in my opinion, all this mod really does is expedite the looting process and lets me get to the portion of the game that I like better, which is combat and building settlements. Next up in gameplay, we have Better Settlers by Tom293. This does a couple of things. It makes your settlers a bit more varied, but the main reason I use it is because whenever I hit that bell to get my settlers to gather round, they don't dilly-dally. They run quickly. That really gets annoying whenever I go to a settlement and I want to go ahead and harvest all of my crops and my settlers are just kind of milling around, not doing anything, waiting forever to come over to the bell whenever I ring it. Optionally, you can also add the community clothing and armor pack, which adds even more variety in settler outfits, as well as more variation in the settlers themselves. Next up, we have Scrap Everything by Shadow Slasher 410 and Vitz. This simply allows you to scrap far more objects than you normally could in the game. There is a patch for this in Horizon and make sure that you use it, otherwise you'll be getting far more materials than you really should be. Now the Horizon mod author has made that it's not quite perfect yet. There are some things he would like to probably add to the scrap list and there are some things that maybe should not be on there. But for now, it's a good alternative if you don't want to use something like Spring Cleaning or the regular version of Scrap Everything which kind of unbalances the game when you're playing Horizon. Next up is Place Everywhere by The Lich. Place Everywhere simply allows you to place anything anywhere in the Fallout 4 building menu. It also allows you to do things like snapping the alignment of objects to the workshop grid so that you can line things up. No longer will you have to manually tweak how your beds are lined up. They will be nice and straight and flush against the wall. As well, you can also turn object snapping on or off as well as a lot of other features. Next up, we have Fall Complete by Kefka95. Quite simply, this adds an ability to mark on your map the locations 
of magazines, bobbleheads, etc. Personally, I use this to track down magazines and bobbleheads because magazines serve a very important function in Horizon. As an example, in order to craft most ammunition, you have to find issues of the Guns and Bullets magazine. So no longer are these magazines just a nice to have thing, they are required for you to progress in Horizon in a reasonable manner. And again, this could be considered a cheat, but because in Horizon these are really required to progress your character, I feel like this is a must have mod. Finally, wrapping up the gameplay section, we have Quick Trade by Registrator2000. Quick Trade simply allows you to walk up to any vendor, press the R button or whatever key you have it bound to, and enter into the trade menu with them. No longer do you have to hear Myrna tell you for the 10,000th time, We buy and sell everything to everyone, except sins. No sins allowed here. Now you can just walk up to her, press the R button, get your trade done, and get out of there. Next up, we have the visual section. Now, I don't have a ton of visual stuff here. Visual stuff is mostly personal taste, and it's going to depend on how powerful your computer is, but there are three that I'm going to recommend. First off, we have Optimized Vanilla Textures by Mist. This simply makes your vanilla textures much more optimized, they'll run better, and they'll also look better on most computers. Next up, we have Enhanced Blood Textures by Definder. This quite simply overhauls blood splatters, blood spurts, anything to do with blood in the game, and makes it look far more realistic, and let's be honest, a bit more gory, because default Fallout 4, eh, it just isn't all that gory. It's not really that scary or disgusting looking. Finally, I'm going to recommend the entire Vivid Fallout series. That would be Vivid Fallout, Roads and Bridges, Trees, and Landscapes, all of them by Hein84. This is a great series that both will improve your performance and make the game look better. What is it with Bethesda and having textures that are unoptimized that still look like crap? Well, that should wrap up the visual section. Now we'll move on to sound. I only have one sound mod here, and that sound mod is Fallout Suite by Fallout Suite. This soundtrack extension is amazing. It adds brand new original soundtracks to the exploration suite of Fallout 4. They depend on weather and time of day, and they fit perfectly with the atmosphere. If you hadn't told me that these were new original tracks, I would not have known. And some of them are honestly almost better than the original exploration suite. Finally, I want to go over some mods that add either new gear or variety in the existing gear. The first one is Armorsmith Extended by Gambit77. This mod adds the ability to wear whatever you want with whatever you want. So if you want to wear a dapper looking tan suit with a set of combat armor, or if you'd like to wear farmer's clothing with leather armor, whatever you want, you can do it. Next up, we have Ellie's Armor Compendium by Eleonora. This is a mod that I saw featured by MXR quite some time ago, and it continues to be one of the best armor mods in the game. Quite simply, this adds many new outfits that you can wear, and they all look absolutely stunning. My personal favorites are the Faction Jumpsuits and the Road Fury Outfit, but there are many, many more to choose from. Finally, for the gear section, we have the official Horizon Weapon Merge Pack by Sedzilla and, of course, the Horizon mod author himself, Zawanul, and I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. I normally just call him Mr. Z. This adds new weapons that are entirely lore-friendly that come from previous games in the Fallout series. You'll find old fan favorites like the China Lake, the Crude Blowback, the Varmint Rifle, the Watts 2000 Laser Carbine, and many, many more. Well, that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions for new mods or questions about them, please comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you found this video helpful and you can leave a like and subscribe, that would be outstanding.